Today's video is going to be a follow up from yesterday's live stream. I was trying to make a photo scan for the live stream but I didn't manage to bake the textures because I had some technical difficulties so I thought I would make a video to kind of summarise the process now that I've worked it out. So if you watch the live stream you will have seen me going through and sorting out the photo scan. My friend Kieran helped me take a load of photos of me walking in a circle. I bought them into Meshroom and created this generated mesh and then once that was finished I exported it into Blender and started doing the clean up work and baking the textures. The geometry itself came out very rough so I ended up going through and using some of the sculpting tools in Blender to smooth out the mesh in a lot of areas. I cut off bits like the hands and feet that didn't scan very well because I'm going to use separate meshes for them anyway. And then I exported the sculpted version of the mesh into instant meshes and I did a quick remesh of it so that I had some clean geometry to bake the textures onto. The UVs from photo scans are also absolutely horrible so I marked some seams on the new re-topologized mesh and then I did an unwrap onto that which was ready for baking the new textures too. And this is where I got caught up in the live stream, I couldn't get the baking to work properly. The two different pieces of geometry were clipping through each other and creating holes in the textures. After some trial and error in the evening after the live stream, I found that I got the best results from scaling up the normals on the retopologized mesh so that it encompasses the photo scan geometry. This is what the baked texture came out looking like before I scaled the normals. You can see it kind of works but it looks a little bit low res. Once I scaled up the normals on one of the meshes it ended up looking a lot better and you can see the change here when it finishes baking. Then I extruded a couple of bits like the end of the sleeve so they weren't just a hollow piece of geometry. But then as you can see the bake of the textures in some areas is quite blotchy. That's because the leather jacket is slightly reflective so the light was changing as Kieran was moving around me taking photos. And this confuses the photo scanning software because it thinks that the object is changing when actually it's just the lighting on it. So to fix that I saved the UVs out of Blender and then brought them into Nuke. And then I took some of the photos that Kieran took from the actual photo scan and used these to reapply the textures of the jacket onto the UVs. With a bit of clone painting and grid warping and transforming stuff around I could get it to fit and then it looks really really nice and obviously these are 6k photos so they're much more high resolution. So I ended up getting a huge amount of detail into the UVs much more than I would have done just from baking the textures. And this is the rest of that process. It's pretty straightforward so I'll just leave some music playing and let the time lapse play itself out. Photo scanning is really fiddly but when you get it working it's quite rewarding and the results come out really cool. Hopefully there's some cool tips in this video that have helped you guys out. I'm looking forward to using this for the upcoming projects that I mentioned in the live stream. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you very soon.
Yeah.